Hi, my name is Cassie. Have you ever wondered why so many people have become beauty YouTubers or why everybody's interested in the makeup industry? Have you ever caught yourself wondering? The beauty industry has grown significantly in size in the past 10 years. It's almost doubled its revenue margin. One of the largest markets of the world right now is actually the beauty industry. It includes both the skincare and makeup. The beauty industry is ever growing with new technologies and brands entering the market. According to Business Insider, the beauty industry is worth $532 billion annually, and the beauty industry continues to make new ideas that make the industry grow, with new technology and new product releases to always make the consumer want more. The other good thing about the beauty industry is when you run out of a product, you have to buy more. It's not like video games or technology where they last for a significant amount of time. The, in the beauty industry has economic backing. The beauty industry has a $532 in profit a year, and many of the companies have exponential growth. The beauty industry has continued to project and grow significantly, according to Business Insider. Indie brands are on the rise and it promotes business and well-being for the economy. Brands such as Jeffree Star Cosmetics, Morphe, and ColourPop Cosmetics are now worth over $50 million. These brands have only been in the past 10 years that have started, which is a significant amount of revenue in 10 years. The industry collects on free advertisement through social media, YouTubers, and through word of mouth. The makeup industry includes both skincare and makeup. The industry includes both areas of personal care, which makes it all inclusive to anybody who likes to wash their face, anybody that likes to do makeup, and it really helps the industry grow. This generation has a lot to do with the increased want for these products. This generation sees celebrities using these products such as sugar bear hair or using special facial serums that they would really like and they think that it will help their skin so they buy it. This industry is basically based off of word of mouth and promotional skills. Advertising to both generations and all generations through skincare and makeup is very important for the makeup industry. Recently, CoverGirl has had an older model as a CoverGirl model to try and appeal to the older generations, and they've also had a younger 16-year-old model that appeals to younger generations. They're trying to be an all-inclusive brand. The idea that this generation needs makeup to survive and can make a career out of it also helps the industry grow. Around the globe, thousands of people are makeup YouTubers or beauty YouTubers, and many of them can make upwards of $1.5 million a year. The idea that a career of doing something that you love to do and make up to $1.5 million a year just by doing a YouTube video seems impossible. But to our generation, to the generations ahead of us and below us, this is actually a very possible thing and it's been seen as very prevalent these days. The makeup careers also help the industry to grow. These help the industry to grow as well as promotional skills. The increase of new products continues to want the YouTubers to make new content and make new looks. The artists get new, new ideas from new colors and new textures and new products every single day and this helps to continue to make the industry grow. It also helps to have their followers want to buy the things. In conclusion, beauty itself continues to create interest in the beauty industry. Americans have a want to want to be beautiful and feel beautiful. And the beauty industry plays off the fact that there is new technology and they can release new colors, new textures, and people will want to buy it. America has one of the largest beauty industries in the entire world. The industry includes both makeup and skincare and appeals to all. What does this say about us as Americans if our leading industry in the United States is based upon looks? It's solely based upon how we look, how we feel, how we want to be, and what does this say about us as Americans?